A local Medal of Honor recipient who spent more than five years as a POW in Vietnam died over the weekend. Retired Air Force Colonel George Bud Day passed away at his home in Fort Walton Beach Saturday after a long illness. Day was one of the nation's most highly decorated service members since General Douglas MacArthur. He received more than 70 medals during his service. He later became a tireless advocate for veterans' rights. Here's what he told Fox 10 News back in April of 2011. We need to keep the, the idea alive that this freedom is not free and that someone has to step up to the plate when the time is right and go fight and go do the things you need to do. A lot of that involves deprivation and maybe dying. But this republic is worth dying for. Day fought in World War II, the Korean War, and Vietnam. While held as a prisoner in Vietnam, Day shared a cell with Senator John McCain. Yesterday on the Senate floor, McCain honored his friend. I had the honor of being Bud's friend for almost five decades of his 88 years. We met in 1967 when the Vietnamese left me to die in the prison cell Bud shared with Major Norris Overly. But Bud and Norris wouldn't let me die. They bathed me, fed me, nursed me, encouraged me, and ordered me back to life. I will miss Bud every day for the rest of my life, but I will see him again. I know I will. I'll hunt the field with him, <coughs> and I look forward to it. Mm, you hear the emotion there. Uh, McCain says Day demanded constant resistance against their jailers, even singing the national anthem when he had a rifle pointed at his face. They received the Medal of Honor for his actions in Vietnam. Senator McCain is expected to speak at Day's funeral service, which is open to the public. Visitation at the Emerald Coast Convention Center in Fort Walton Beach begins at 9 Thursday morning. The services will start at 11. After that, the funeral procession will travel down Highway 98 to Barrancas National Cemetery at some board NAS Pensacola. Day will be buried there with full military honors at 3 p.m.